De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Oh, Lori Toby is alleged to have almost, almost fainted as um, um, her friend, her very best friend, like her bestie, her body, sent an open proposal for marriage to the Oni of Ife. It's been rumored that the best friend of Olori Toby, who, um, had, who was trained in London, they've been friends, they've been doing the pageant, um, pageantry thing together, and they have been so close over the years, you know, um, uh, sent an open letter to the Oni of Ife, proposing to the Oni of Ife uh, that she would want to be one of his wives. Now, this friend of Toby, they said when um, Toby met the Oni of Ife, uh, they, they all shared all of their uh, experiences together. At that point, they said she was saying that uh, will Toby be able to cope as um, one of the wives to a monarch? Because at that time, Toby had opened up to them that uh, she was going to be uh, one of the wives, like not just the only wife. And Toby was ready to go through with the uh, marriage to the Oni of Ife. And a lot of them kept discouraging her that it's going to be very difficult for her, that she will not get the satisfaction she needs as a young and beautiful girl and all of that. But Toby said she was ready to go through with it. And Toby said she was ready for polygamy because she wasn't going to start up with any man that, you know, will force her into feeding him and all of that. That in the words of Toby at the time, uh, she was saying the men of today, uh, they, they are not capable of caring for their wives. She would rather go for um, uh, wealth than go for any love. And so they kept discouraging her until she decided that, yes, so she was going to go ahead and get married. So it's been rumored that even when Toby got pregnant, uh, prior to her delivery, one of her friends had come from um, UK to stay with her. You know, they were happy doing a whole lot together as um, Toby had already moved to Lagos and it was all okay. But while Toby was um, there, after she delivered, the friend started, you know, the first thing that happened was they said she allegedly sent the girl to the palace to pick some of the things that she forgot in her own, you know, apartment in the palace. Because, of course, we are all aware of what is happening in the palace of the Oni of Ife. They said that Oni of Ife is not supposed to see um, his newborn um, babies or baby, that when a woman gives birth, that woman is supposed to stay outside. As a matter of fact, the woman is supposed to stay outside, go outside before the stomach really develops. The reason is because it's a taboo for him to see the hair of a newborn baby or even as it develops in the womb. And that is why, you see, when um, Olori Nami got pregnant, the pregnancy got to a certain point. Nami was excused from the palace. She didn't give birth. Um, in the palace. So they said that is, I do understand that a lot of bloggers are reporting that Toby is in the palace. They are reporting that Oni and Toby are seen. Oni has embraced the children and all of that. But this is not to debunk all of those news that others are reporting um, because I do not know the sources of their own news. I've told you that time and time again. And so um, now they said Oni is not supposed to see those children for about, some are saying six months, I don't know for seven. Some are saying four months and some are saying three months. So right now they said oh, Lori Toby had sent that girl to pick up some things from the palace of the Oni of Ife. And when she went to pick up those things from the palace of Oni of Ife, because Oni um, knew that the uh, Lori Toby's friend was coming, the girl leveraged on that opportunity to meet with the Oni one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, for me and these women, you know, if I were like them, I'd be very careful knowing the kind of person my husband is. Now, this is not to say Oni is anything bad. One thing that everybody knows about the Oni of Ife is that Oni of Ife has got a great sense of humor. Oni of Ife love intelligent women. Oni of Ife is very interactive. If you see when he goes to events, he's this man that carries himself, he's humble, as, as in his humility personified, okay? And so when he finds a young girl who is that who is that brilliant and all of that, he loves people who are outspoken and all of that. Oni will always want to engage you in conversation to test how brilliant, what is up there, and you agree with me that Oni's wives are very intelligent women. I do know that Nami is, you know, um, one of the most, if you saw it now, even Mercy Johnson stated the fact that Nami happens to be one of the most intelligent women that she has ever met. Nami is super, super, super intelligent. But you want to agree with me that 
um, Onis wives are actually um, um, smart, okay? I don't know about Miriam because Miriam is not somebody you... I've never seen her interact, but I know that I've seen people like Ashley, I've seen people like um, uh, uh, Runke and all of that, okay? Now, without digressing much, um, uh, this lady went and met with the owner of Ife that day that she went to pick up things for Olori Toby from the palace. And they said Oni had that interaction with her. And that was the first time they exchanged, you know, um, um, numbers and all of that. Um, the first time, as it is rumored, okay? And so um, she uh, capitalized on that advantage to begin to chat up Oni and all of that. Then from the very beginning, I don't know what you think, but, you know, Oni was um, dealing with this woman based on the fact that she is friends with Olori Toby, uh, my wife, and my wife has given birth to children, and this woman has always been there to support her. And that was what they said Oni was dealing with this woman based on. But um, uh, as we are hearing now, no, right now, uh, they said she went back to the palace, and um, the last, the next time she went to the palace, she went without the um, consent of Olori Toby, and they said she went with a proposition for a business, okay? And so um, when she got to the palace and yeah, uh, uh, submitted it, and she had she got talking with Oni of Ife. Oni of Ife like people who are into you know, people who are industrious and all of that, he's always ready to help as many people as possible. Now, going back to trajectory, look at his wives. Um, um, Hope Our Life um, Initiative belongs to um, uh, Olori Timitokwe, and it's been sponsored the entire time by the owner of Ife. The Adure, Adire um, um, factory belong, belongs to Olori to, um, uh, Runke. It's been for, um, uh, uh, sponsored the entire time by Olori Runke, uh, by the owner of Ife. How about the London Fashion Week? How about the Nigerian Fashion Week? Oni has been the major sponsors of all of these organizations, because one thing he would do before he gets married to these women, he makes sure that he um, um, is able to fix them in different businesses and all of that. He doesn't like women who see that either, okay? And so this woman is um, uh, looking at gaining that from the Oni of Ife. And Oni of Ife is, is going up. Like, up, up. this girl has become a very good friend to the Oni of Ife, a situation that has so frustrated Olori Toby. Toby is really, really frustrated because you don't need to understand one thing. I do know that bloggers will come, and when we come, we are, we are you know, submitting issues as though, you know, these women can come up and say, uh, Kabi, see, why did you do this? Why did you go to my friend? Why did you do this? How dare you? And I want you to know that that is... In fact, if you think this is how these women address the only of affair, then you're being disillusioned. Only of affair is, 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 will I say feared? Only of affair is so highly respected that none of these women have the right to as much as question him. They go back and they do all of these things. So right now, Oni is Onirisha Arole Odudua. Why is it called Kabiesi? Kabiesi means a person that cannot be questioned. And so these women don't question Oni of Ife. They have no right to do that. As a matter of fact, it's a sacrilege for you to stand and question Oni of Ife. So right now, Toby cannot tell Oni of Ife, why are you trying to start up a business with my friend? Why are you trying to start up a relationship with my friend and all of that? Now, the friend, knowing all of this, is capitalizing on that to just keep going close to Olori, Toby's husband. That happens to be the Oni of Ife. Right now, they said there is an open letter that has been sent to the only of Ife that uh, she wants to be part of the wife, that she is her head over heels, like she has fallen Yakata for the only of Ife. Now she's saying she loves Oni of Ife, that uh, she's ready to fight the entire world for the only of Ife, and she they said the girl is so, so, so pretty, and she is ready to do whatever it is for the only of Ife. She wants to be with the only of Ife, she, she wants to marry the only of Ife. That that was the open letter this girl sent to the Oni of Ife. Now, um, that letter got to the Oni of Ife. Oni of Ife read it. You do know that Oni of Ife does not owe any of his wives any explanation. He will marry if he wants to. And that is why, for you to be in this kind of um, relationship, you want to be sure that the man really loves you. Because Oni of Ife tends to be able to give 
explanation to just one woman in his life. And that one woman has always been Olori Naomi. So right now, whether he's going to go ahead and get married to the woman or not, nobody knows. And, you know, these women, the wives, they keep going to Olori Naomi, begging Naomi to do this, begging Naomi to do that. You know why they do that? They do that because they know that it's only Naomi who can stand and cushion Oni. It's only Naomi who can say, who, who, Oni, Oni feels... Um, uh, he owes Nami some kind of explanation and all of that. But they said Toby is crying so much because right now, I think that Nami is, is grown up. Nami is more matured. Nami has received a lot of great counsel. So right now, I think Nami is in a place where whether only will marry 150. Nami may not necessarily care anymore. The reason is because they were the ones who brought this to the table. They were the ones who said Oni of Ife is a king. He's capable of marrying um, as many wives as possible. Nobody has a right to say anything against this. And as we are hearing it right now, Nami is um, um, has agreed to that. So all of these people will now run to Nami to go and tell Nami to say this, please go and talk to Oni. They say everything um, Nami says is that he is king. He has a right to get married. They say Toby is so, so, so upset. Toby is so frustrated right now that she's been crying so much because she does not know the outcome of this level of betrayal from the friend and she does not know how this is going to end. At this juncture, I'll only say what goes around comes around. At least we now see that the pain is the same. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.